in control. You can just keep repeating, rinse and repeat, throw that out of there, um, and just do their classic pincer on elbow and as sure. well as link. So I'm really curious though, because they're hovering around B. We talked about this, Zoli Esports attacking first. They don't need to get a pick early to enter a site. They're just going to go win at, with Patman's access. Yeah, full send it, right? Yep. Uh, let's see how it uh, unravels right now. So I'm excited to see how this will uh, definitely go. As Zol... Okay, so setup is just to get a little bit of information. Zin trying to see if he can get a lineup right now to get some openings maybe on mid. There's a four-man push oh, by Mongols on mid. And this is what we're talking about, Riku. The aggression and I guess just the willingness of Mongols to try to see what could work for them. The only problem for this one is market is kind of just flooded by Mongols players. They lost a bit of control. Patman gets himself a kill here. Emmett Fear very much out in the open, gets caught out. Sky Blue coming around the corner right now. That's going to be Nexi just dropped down and Jet picks up the two kills. That's going to be Soul. Point on the board. Very quick, very swift. I can't believe that's how it went down. Um, Mongols had a really nice idea, right? Remember, uh, Patman has full control all alone from yeah. tiles most of the time, getting a pick uh, on to market or maybe even top mid. But, so they decide to invest a lot of resources, but instead of trying to aim for a possible flank uh, retake since it's pistol, they decide to just yeah. go classic. Go market, go boba, but they're just completely decimated by Zol Esports there on their pistol. And if Zol was, uh, you know, probably watching the VODs, mm -hmm. seeing the replays here from Mongols, they know that's one of the plays that they would My like to try to do. We'll destroy the camera there. Could uh, ruin information here for Mongols. And we do have 119. Yes, I made a mistake of calling him 666, but man could be a demon sometimes, you know? So <laughs> True. you gotta give me, you gotta give me credit. Yep, 119 yep. now just... I like this. They're gonna push, and it's just Kevzy holding the corner here. Does have potential help from Kakarot. What Whoa, a shot from Sky is Blue. B. Kevzy no uh, tries to go for some punish here. He's slowly creeping up, making sure that drone. at least he can start to clear out these corners. And now he uses the drone. One for one trade, though, but this is still, uh, at least economic damage-wise, better for Mongols. As Zol slowly... There. Pushing up to the B side, just making sure. Oh, wow. Whoa, can he get away? Uh, somehow managed to do so. Great support system from Zol there. All left onto Nexi's hands. He's got himself a whole lot of work. Tries to go around. Patman just chases him down, and that's going to be Zol two points on the board. I can't believe it. I mean, there was just too many blinds hitting Patman at one point. <laughs> and then, of course, Mongols just wants to peek and try to take advantage. But everybody was looking at the same angle. And they always have Patman's back. And I think that's one of your biggest fears, I suppose. You want to take down the most... Uh, the scariest member of the esports, especially on Sunset. But everybody is just so ready to catch him if anything happens. There. Now, weapons are available for Bongos here. Oh, I do like the camera, though. You can see that too often. Just placing it on the reverse angle just to, to cover uh, tiles. Yeah. You can actually... And it's easier for you to pick it back up. They immediately break market door. So, Patman trying to see if he can at least get some contact with his sheriff. It's good plays. And he's not committing to it. He just wants that information. Ouch. Actually hits Nexi on the head. That's not looking too good for them. Kakarot gets a pick on top mid. Are they going to push this, though, as 119 is holding it? Patman could at least burst out just to pick up a weapon. Even use the fast lane to make it even more secure for him, where he just waits patiently as they still have some time to work uh, to work around this map. Get 40 seconds on the clock. Fast lane even to be bait. Maybe invest resources to look at top mid, but surprise, it's actually market where they're actually trying to attack. They're still going to do it again. After the paranoid delay, wanted to go for the contact. Pretty good contact so far. What? The paranoia stops them dead in their tracks and they can't really do anything. It's just a gun duel and Zola is coming out somewhat on top of things. 119 gets spotted out. Planted. And this is where it gets very interesting because he's very close. 
But again, he doesn't really have that much control. Now that he's doubled up with cons, it might change up a little bit here. They do have the Dizzy. Comes around the corner. Oh. And Kevzy is just tucking himself last up until the very game. last moment. Oh, one versus one. He drops down, oh, and that oh. might have been it. But somehow <laughs> Kevzy manages to hold his composure and I'll win the two versus you. one. What a round for Zol. I will say that's the second time I've seen where it's a bit deceiving. You know, the old sunset where you kind of just can strafe, go left and right at that part of the map. One didn't end up so well, but this time around, Kevzy was still able to take that 1v2 and win oh, and, uh, and, and win out on Mongols' bonus. So that's a little painful for the Mongols. Um, but I felt like that was incredibly doable. It's just that Kevzy does so well in a lot of these clutch rounds. Yeah, he's been doing that time Coming and time again mm -hmm. for teams that he's already played in. And go. it's good that he still joins a team and it's still the same role that he plays. So I oh, do yeah, like true. the... Yeah, it's always just initiator, right? And he's already pretty good at it, so might as well, right? Mm -hmm. That was pretty ballsy here from Sky is Blue. And he still wants to go and challenge. They know that he backed away somewhere, but he's still going to be here. And again, Zol just systematically breaking them down. Not too good when that was your kind of hold mid control plan. Now that he's gone, it's uh, back to the drawing board at least. Yeah, honestly, Zol Esports always, they do their due diligence. They never lower their guard yeah. just because they're on their buy round. They're going to check every single corner. Oh, and I feel like that's the reason why these sort of plays don't really work against Zol Esports. We'll see how they execute this on the beat. There's only one person right there. That's 119. Quick little dash here for Pathman. They do spot out one more. 30 and seconds left. Good answer to the again to the tripwires. Just keep having Patman dash in. And he just has another dash that he doesn't die instantaneously from being tripped. Mm -hmm. Coming out of the corner, Zin could be in trouble though, but this is why again you put this man on any roll, he'll still get those kills. And Zol is just cleaning up house right now. They're not losing too many people even every single round and they're building up good bank here. Yeah, they're just so confident and covering each other's angles. Um Everything's pretty much covered. They're always ready for the trades, the buddy system, the triple buddy system, if you will. Especially if they have the numbers advantage. They know the different configurations to just really uh, make it very hard for Mongols to do retake, even though they're going to be coming from multiple sides of a site. Very understandable timeout from the Mongols. It's really rough. 4 0. Buy rounds. Uh, a buy round has passed. Their bonus have already passed and it's not even yeah. close not even dealing uh, a, a bit of dent onto their economy it, it does seem like zol esports are just so confident on sunset i wonder how what kind of coach mm -hmm. uh coach arty is for mongols because i'm trying to look at at least his history but he hasn't gotten any previous teams in uh in valorant i think maybe in other games mm -hmm. you know he probably could have but um, this just begs the question of what type of style he brings as a coach to the Mongols team. Does he try to elevate what's already there, try to make them as experimental as possible because he knows that they're willing to try to be as fluid as can be, or uh, he tries to bring some structure? I am just, you know, still kind of wondering in, in that point. And if that timeout changes the, the way Mongols try to play around Zolra. Maybe. They've got Paranoia into Fault Line for a possible entry onto B, but the spike isn't there. Overdrive also for Sky is Blue. We haven't exactly seen the Wombo combo just yet, where you get Fault Line, Paranoia, maybe even added into the mix. Then you have the slide in from Sky is Blue. Not exactly. They need some sort of the confidence back, I suppose, to make these plays because 0 4 start might have hurt some of maybe some of the decision making that they want to do in this game that's fair oh there we go oh okay he's the coach also the coach for genji's uh academy oh. team there we go so man is 
pretty much versed in controlled play while making star players star even more you know mm -hmm. especially if you're you know a coach for a korean team that's usually how they go so yep. at least now we kind of have a bit of a baseline on how that works anyways now after everything that's uh been said here Zol left. taking their pretty sweet time they've been just kind of you know letting us sit letting this play kind of simmer in and now it's about to be cooked know exactly. to push it Get that. I like the 2 1 2 push, right? They have two players yeah. on Ben, they have two players on Link, uh, one player on the side planting the spike. spike There's planted. going to be the use on the ultimate here for, for Kakarot just so that nobody uses on the Mongol side anything to try to retake while they're still in position to plant that spike. Now, push comes the shove. Batman comes around the corner, loses duel against Sky Blue, which works in the favor of Mongols, and they're winning their individualistic fights. This is great. This gives them a bit of a leeway to do so, but here's the fight. Here's the bite back from Zol. Takes two back. Look One at the pitch play. Remains. Zin coming around. Wow. Perfect timing. Spots up next. He dropping down and both of them just take it on. It's just so coordinated for Zol Esports. They have a step-by-step -step plan. If things didn't go their way, okay, Padman maybe is able to spot out information despite him losing that duel against Sky is Blue. Okay, fine. We're going to uh, pull back. Uh, play off of the Zin Kakarot maybe. And the Kevzi as well. Again, their post plan is dangerous. The Mongols should prevent this from happening at all, or else they'll have a very, very difficult plan um, having to get that retake down. So they do have some ultimates, but not True. weapons to back it up, at least in this round, right? Mm -hmm. And the way that Zol are playing, I do like how compressed they are, just knowing that playing far and wide against people that just have pistols is not really the way to go. Like this, if Kevzi falls down, at least you have a second uh, player to just get that refrag. Anyways, ultimate's also being used here by Sky is Blue. Does get the double kill. This is huge right now for him. Tries to go for the wraparound, and he is just punishing them left and right. It's all left in the hands of Patman here. Question now is Sky is Blue pretty low after all of that. Pinch play was great. Can Patman pick this up? I got spike. Four. Can not go down? <laughs> Lights up. Oh, got me. <laughs> Three fair sky is blue. Was already low. Great valley effort for the Mongols, but it's just I not know. enough. Shocked. I am shocked. Like, even though, just as you said, they were pretty much low already, uh, a quick trade could have happened, but they all lined up here. With the phantom, uh, oh, well. their coach, she's like, What just happened? Oh. Yeah, already Maybe. valid reaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go, go, go. Valid reaction. It was, was so good because so Sky's Blue just decimated the rest of Zol, and yeah. Catman just equalized everything and, and took the round. Oof. Question is, could could Mongols have waited for Batman to actually pick up the spike, start running? They hear where he runs, they start preparing for just a sight fight with two versus one, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where Sky is blue is already low. I don't know. There's so many ways this could go. I'm in fear though. The double up, like the idea, but again, Zol praying compressed, they just wipe everything out. Yeah, getting the better end of the stick there. Let's see now. Operator. Kind of have to reposition onto Ali, but that's block two. There's nothing much you can do but wait for the rest of the squad for this retake. Yeah, having an operator in your hands if you're not a jet. Yep. Can't really take those super aggressive angles, right? Without that jet dash, without mm -hmm. the uh, tailwind. Anyways, anywho. Uh, it's hard. Uh, they're, no one's going to peek them. They're just going to wait for them to drop down. And this is where it gets so difficult. No way! Clash from Kakarot, only to really delay things. One they hear right. the positioning from Sky is Blue, and somehow Nexi gets just devoured by the Hunter's Fury. There's the great catch from 119, uh, 119. We'll see how this goes. He still has time to start defusing, maybe get it to half. But he's out in the open. The pitch comes to shove. The sandwich is there he can start to maybe start halving it but he doesn't know where he is and he's just yoloing to maybe hopefully get that defuse it's not gonna happen man kevzi shuts it down and that's gonna be seven to zero for zol their post plan is so clean zol esports they always have 
Does... If there's a waterfall from heaven, there's a waterfall of strategies. If in case the first one doesn't work out, you still have something from these m many micro decisions that you are really a big fan of from uh, Zol Esports. And at the end of the day, all they gotta do is be patient, not only disciplined in checking a lot of these really, you know, every single corner of this map, but also disciplined and following through a plan. And that's the reason why Zol Esports is 7 0 right now. And what's the next plan here for for Mongols? True. Right? Again, we're back to the drawing board where they don't really have money once again. And it's going to be quite difficult for them to really find that tempo. There it is. Again, there's some eagerness for Mongols to find that, that fight. Mm -hmm. But I think because Zol are so well accustomed to these type of, this type of approach... You can't... Yeah. They're, they're not really playing into something unknown. Look at this. Zin just finding some angles right now. And the only player who actually had a gun is already done. He's already gone. Oop. Yeah, made a switch. Patty yeah. gets a kill. This is going very in the favor of Zol and very away from Mongols' uh, control. Great catcher from 119. He's been pretty solid so far yeah. with these one-to-one -one kills, but he can't really convert too many after that. I think we need to see Spike more planted. Sky's blue just going ham again, like what he did at top mid. We want to see more of... Uh, well, 119 has been doing really well in a lot of these mid rounds. It's just that things are already falling apart. You know, it's only there's oh, yeah. only so much that he can do versus, I don't know, four people uh, against all esports. And yes, 8-0 uh, now for Zol esports. Timeout must be called. This is crucial. Uh, first half is about to be over. You've got Thrash, you've got Rolling Thunder, and other ultimates as well that they can have access to. They need to really stabilize to just minimize the, the damage of the first half into the second. You can really see the passion of the coach right now, um, Asurai. Yeah. Understandable reaction right now. Artie's just... And this is... And this is where it gets interesting as well, mm -hmm. right? I have also seen some coaches burn both of their timeouts in the first half if mm -hmm. you know that it's getting very difficult or very dangerous for your team right so he's making the call to just again uh try to give them some words of encouragement at least give them some information on how to deal with the strategy and whatnot but you have to also read that fine line where you don't want to overload your players with information and they just start to Kind of over process things that's when you kind of get into a, a worse of a spiral right so yeah let's see how this uh goes for the mongols again i'm just pointing out things that i've you know kind of just seen over the years and we'll have to see how this happens with mongols let's check it out only a few rounds left before the second half and we need to make this count I'm out of here. Oof. push out for mid though uh -huh. sky's blue let's find zid so there's no more anti-flank util Ultimate used this well here from Kakarot to open up space. Batman loses the fight against 119. This is the fight. This is the control that Mongols really want. Nexi now coming in from the flank right now. Kakarot spots him out, but he's too good on the fight. Paranoia also catches out one more on Kepsi. Fully blinded. Wins out the duel. It's all down to Jet. And he's just going to get stabbed. Yeah, everybody join in on the knife party. And that's going to be down. Mongols point on the board. That's exactly what they needed. Uh, 119 winning up a very important duel against Padman. Sky's blue with the first blood as well. And of course, let's not forget Nexi having a very beautiful flank and killing two members of Zol Esports, just dismantling the post blood positions of Zol Esports. So we need to see more of those. We want to see more of those from the Mongols. And I feel like mid is their access. Uh, we saw a little bit of that in the first round on the pistol, but they immediately back away. If they continue to press on aggressively and use that space, I think there's a chance to catch up into this game. Got a couple of rounds more here. Look at this push. They are out for blood. Ultimate used as well. Gotta love the aggression here from Mongols. No one's home, though. No one got hit by it, but Sky Blue is sending it. Really wants to pinch right in. 
The question now is, oh, that paranoia is going to open things up. That is going to open things up. Sind does get traded off one for one. Backs away. But again, this creates some space. Spike already planted, but they do know where they are because of the moral theft. The timing. They don't know that Jez is still holding B main, and he somehow manages to get the one. Sky Blue responds. It's a two to two. One enemy with cons. Remaining. With cons. It's <laughs> just why I was about to say, and Sky Blue. <laughs> now it's him out in the open. Mark it. No more. It's focus. closed. That's going to be him down. Kevzy finds the kill. And Zol puts everything back in order. Zol Esports is restrained and control. Um, and Reed to just back away. This Rolling Thunder invested from a main okay you know there's gonna be a lot of people so let's back away no fix up a crossfire uh at the at the crevices of of b main and call it a day and that's exactly what happened paranoia beautiful setup and then after that things are just falling apart from the mongols they were able to use the rolling thunder to convert to anything and zoli sports just takes everything back at least because of that round with Mongols had, mm -hmm. they have economy to, to work with, right? Oh, it's true. only cons that doesn't really have the weapon because he has to go full util uh, into things. Sky is blue, though. Here comes the pressure play. The jump out. Good nice. little kill, actually. And he backs away, but somehow, because Nexi wanted to dip his toes into the kill as well, gets caught. Not too good for him, but that's the one-to-one -one trade. One of the best fights we've seen for Mongols so far. Pat mentioned. <laughs> he tries to run into spawn. You gotta catch onto the rotators. I like the idea, but Evan Fear just too quick for him. Now, 55 seconds. Zulkin slowly at least take a breather here before they attack again. Yeah, waiting for your recon dart and everything all off of cooldown. This could be scary as 119 does have the neural theft available but he's far away from any of the dead bodies to use that. There's the recon dart again. Evan Fear tucking himself into the corner for the moment. Ooh. Again, Zol's prowess to just go for this refrag is the reason why it's so hard for Mongols to really get these fights because they really get these wins. Because Mongols, you know, all they have to really do is win these 1v1s, which these actually really do well. The problem is the trades just too difficult because yeah. Zol's just too quick. Look at that. Yeah. Perfect example. Oh, out of charge. They always have a set plan. Again, they always Last want to have that in the I half. Think, bottom line, Zoli Esports knows how to take advantage of the numbers game. Um, and for the Mongols now, it's they wanted to be wary. That's why they wanted to keep uh, 119 to be on to B, just in case. Just in case Zoli Esports actually do a very mad rotate. Um, Zoli Esports, on the other hand, they're so good at re entering, re initiating around these sites if plan a doesn't work out if patman just falls too early that's okay we can just hit again with the rest of the squad that's left very true now can mongols do the same thing though is a mm -hmm. it's a big question right i mean again i do like the creativity but i think the ability and the tightness for refrag for them has been i think a big factor into how they just really can't get that one up against Zul. because if they try to we've seen how many times they try to go for the one versus ones they get one but then no one follows up which is uh, again yeah. or if someone does it's not as clean as Zul's. so yeah there, there's that to at least consider yeah that's true the refrag sky is blue has been doing so well with the first bloods it's just Nowhere that it's just don't fall in their favor right ah. after yeah, conversion's just not as good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hunter's Fury. Too snappy here there from Kevs. Oh Batman. Oh boy, here comes Sky Blue again. Not this time, though. Only good for the one. They finally use the three versus one tactic, right? Just throw numbers on the problem, and that's going to be that. Mm -hmm. Zin by himself. Seconds left. 119. One enemy remaining. Not really. He is alone. So I don't know how much information he has. 20 seconds, though. I think Zin's just going to be able to catch him unless that he... Yeah, the tripwire actually stops dead in their tracks. 119 actually going back, but... Spike planted. Spike's going to get planted the other way. And there's already one on spawn holding the angle. He's aware of it. He is just very much on that uh, on that point. Oh, he loses the, <laughs> the bullets, but it's not going to be enough. It's too quick, and Zol just shuts him down with the 11-1. to 1. What a first half this has been for them. Selves. 
pretty sticky situation for the Mongols. Going to be starting on the attacking side now. And Sky is Blue is just sending it. Doesn't even care anymore as he charges right in. And he is, is catching Zol off guard. Zin yeah. is down to the one versus five. And Mongols, what a round on the pistol. Looking at the bodies, all of them are stacked at B main. They really had a clean entry onto that area. And it makes sense. If you have a Neon, you've got a Breach, you've got a Gecko, everything can just go into your favor. Having to layer a lot of these, you know, important uh, flashes and util. So if Sky is really able to take these down, including um, 119, I think they have a really decent flow um, to, to to follow here. Zoli Esports, I'm sure they're caught off guard there. They weren't exactly prepared for that. But they might have a good read here on this A stack. For sure. Blinding. Okay, they've... Yeah, the four stack I like. Mm -hmm. Sky is blue. Going for the reload that actually could blow up in his face. They heard him. And now they're using the close quarters, the pinch to come in as well. And it's a one versus one. Kevzy. Oh my goodness, the headshot is clean. Zol found, Zol found the timing, the opportunity, and they did not hesitate to take it. For a split second, for just 0.5 seconds for me, I clasped my hands together on how surprised <laughs> I was from that crispy shot from Kevzy. It could have been it. Mongols had a phenomenal start in that pistol in the second half. The problem is all esports immediately shuts that momentum down. And now they're at the match point. Area. I don't think there was enough uh, clearing for Mongols there. They were a bit too... It felt, it looked over eager to me, right? Mm. Just charging mm. in on uh, Elbow here. And about to do the same thing as well. Set up to go into the site already. No tripwires on Elbow. It's all on Link. I'm not really against. This does stop the push coming out from uh, 119 here. And now, Zol just starting to just regroup once again. Once the smoke drops, that's when Zol starts to work their magic in. And this is where it gets problematic because Mongols, they want to play close quarter combat because they just have the not so good weapons, right? Anyways, pick up here from Sky is Blue. He's got to show off if he got the aim to really match, uh, match this position. Not going to wow. work out. That's going to be that. Zol Esports make quick work of map number one, ending ourselves a 13 to 2 dominant performance finish or oh, will Zoli Esports just keep keep getting this streak from their 13 uh 13 what one performance earlier against the Mongols on Sunset uh, well such big questions right Let's is it now. performance a recent performance in series in this series or recent performance in the tournament that will uh <laughs> that will show itself here on Haven. Well, that's why we're here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see how this goes. This map number two is underway. Mongols already showing up some forces right now on, well, on sewer, but nobody's home. And Zol Esports, they're knocking farther away, farther sight there will be, as C has already gotten itself planted with a spike. Okay, understandable. Pistol, play retake. S5 can play for a pick at the moment. Map's really big. But numbers game, remember, have everybody covered for Zol. Look at this. Good cascade of utility with the fault line as well as that uh as well as that paranoia to kind of stop the dead in their tracks. Good timing whatsoever. Crossfire's working out. Khan's coming around the corner, but Zol wraps around as well very quickly with three uh, players remaining. It's just too much to handle for that one player of Zol that was just left to kind of deal with the situation. The Mongols, again, Sky is the beautiful first blood uh, taking down Patman. Yeah. Problem is, Jet went to replace backside position. And therefore, that's the reason why they all peeked out of the smoke from CT. Didn't look in the same direction anymore because, well, we took we took the backside player down. Guess what? Jia is there. So, Zoli Esports again, beautiful hold on that chase round. No four spies for Mongols here. Thought they mm -hmm. might try to do something cheeky. And, well, that's something cheeky is this three-man push on mid, but 
Yeah, Zol Esports very much aware of it. I do like the position hold by Sky is Blue. If someone peeks out right now, if Zo if Zin wants this heat, he might actually not realize that Nexi is somewhere underneath just kind of holding angles. Padman is not going to know about this. This could be bad for him. Doesn't get any kills. No way. He actually won 80s. Nexi, what a hurt this Padman is just doing. Three are already down. The push continues. Does fall to 119. It's a three versus two. But you have to also have to realize that was just the pistol players of Zol. Not even the rifles on their hands. Good flags for Kons, though. Nice little shield just to get them that pick. Two versus one. And honestly, not too bad for Mongols right now. This is still workable for 119. Yeah, his his aim is really crisp, especially on the Sheriff. This could be deadly for Zola Esports here. 30 seconds left. No one planning the spike just yet. They want that information first, and now they got it. It's C connector that spike 119 is going to be coming out of. A big little pick. Ooh. What a dig. It's through the wall, though, so not as big damage as we're you're kind of hoping for with the Sheriff. Yeah. And now, smoke in place, and he's still making a lot of noise with the Sheriff. They know exactly where he is. Oof. I mean, how do you... How do you wiggle yourself out of this situation? He's hoping that someone maybe just flanks him, but Zol. Okay, okay, okay. One nineteen. Oh my God! <laughs> Where did that come from? Yep, astonishment. Oh, I'm losing my People mind. Losing <laughs> <laughs> what that, a round. That felt like the round was in the bag for Zol Esports. That was their anti ego. That was their hold. They smoked it all up. They had information on where 119 was going to be. All they had to do was the usual simple math play off of each other. But 119 isolated the fights. Coach is very happy. Those are crisp shots. Those are fast thinking. And not 119 was so yes, patient with go. that. He was not phased oh, at all. This is nice. That goes there. Wow. Ahead. So, this actually breaks the economy as well for Zol Esports, mm. right? Patman's the only one with a rifle in hand. How is Zol going to recover for, uh, at least for this round? Don't know. 119, I think you've also mentioned him a couple of times already in that uh, past game. But man, I, would have taken him out. I, I honestly thought, right, his patience just finally paid off. It's great. Now back to the drawing board for Zol here. See how this goes. Nexi holding the angle. Long side sky is blue. Anyone peeks out. It's going to be these two staring down the barrel. They're gut at you. Zola setting up for this B play. Trigger gets pulled. It's going to be the site taken. Oh, okay. Back to the site. Patman not really ready for it. And that's already the, uh, the rifle player down. Kakaros is trapped at the corner here hit by the debuff and this is just not looking too hot for him oh the shield actually saves guy is blue no way that was such a good shield from cons i mean sure to retake the site right but it also <laughs> somehow manages to save sky is blue gotta love that <laughs> that was just a crazy crazy retake for the side of mall okay it was an eco on the side of Zoli Esports, but still, that was still incredibly clean. That was such a nice showing. They were covering each other's backs. They won the duel against Patman that was ready for the trigger from backside uh, looking at Link. So this is looking to be a very good map for the Mongols here. Uh, stark contrast uh, start from the sunset performance that they've had. They are now online, Aserai. Absolutely. They need... They definitely needed that uh, that momentum shift, right? Let's see if that's going to be what helps them build more rounds here, if possible. I do like the setup for Mongols, where Cypher plays, where 119 plays as wide as he can, mm -hmm. so that he can have his two duelists compress into one position and, you know, just start doing duelist things. Because it makes it easy for Sky is Blue to get more kills when, you know, he has that uh, debuff there. coming out of uh, the ISO. There. That's true. It's, uh... Definitely helps they once the entries... 
fall through from Padman especially. Oh, oh they hit they saw him. Padman's already inside garage. Knocking in. No one's inside at the moment. Seaside is exposed, but no one's actually going for this. Are they gonna try to go for a B push once again? No, it's a B it's a B split into a C push. I like this. So it, if they get kills here, this separates so many positions right now left. that they could have. The C split was actually taken back, and now it's gonna be gone into the B push. This might not be working too well because Sky is Blue is holding the front of the site. Can still plant spike, but there is time to rotate or at least time to take a breath. Secure things. Two versus two. Ultimate being used. Kakarot might out of this out of this game. And right in front of him is gonna be Padman with the send. One versus one. Right around the corner and Sky is blue. What reaction time as he wins the fight. The call for Zolt to go to B just goes awry. Whoo, what a fiery tension between the two neon players that we have. Sky is blue versus Patman. It does feel like Patman is now being put on a tight leash. He's not exactly doing the same things that he's been doing um, as the neon, not on Sunset. <laughs> They're even surprised about how that went. The relay bolt didn't really stun anyone. I think Patman's read is he assumes that Sky Blue is pushing Link. Maybe that's why. And hopefully that was the play, but it was not. It was yeah. Skies Blue just waiting for Patman to dash in. Hi, I'm pissed. Especially when he saw the stun coming out as well, right? <laughs> Pat oh oh my minute. god! What a setup for Patman! Kevzy with the alley oop and Patman just dunks it down. That recon dart was filthy. Cage oh, three. this game. Both uh, Neons just lighting it up. Gotta love it. Emmett Fear, though, stopping them Take all the way from heaven here as he pushes them back. Maybe a bit of a call to just, you know, chill out as Zol. Ultimate being used already here I by Kakarot exactly just to delay things. Will he get any kills whatsoever? That's the question. And whew, 119. He's putting some damage in. Kevzy. Oh, what a shot. Gets the head. Taps it. Two versus one. Next, coming around the corner. There's a challenge. Kevzy wins. So it's is like, let's stop this B shenanigans. Let's just go do the classic that has been tried and tested on attack side. Let's go for A. I am uh, absolutely gobsmacked. Wow, this, <laughs> yeah. this, uh, this Haven map has been oh, this is nice creative. Map. Yeah. Right for both teams. There's some yep. setups that we haven't we seen. I haven't seen too often from uh, Zol. There's some that things that there. I haven't really seen too much as well for Mongols. It's great. It's great. I love it. Yeah, it's uh, you can really feel how badly these teams want to proceed shocking. to stage three. BCT and Patman oh, are doing so well I in this planted. series. No distraction. Flight. Okay, there it is. The challenge. Mm -hmm. Who wins? It's gonna be Jack. Oh, cons. He really wanted that one up if he could have. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be enough. Last 119 and standing. Sky is Blue goes for the challenge, but they are dropping like flies against Zol. Now, Padman does get knocked himself, but again, there's just too many bodies that 119 had to uh, chip down from before he can actually even hope to get that defuse running in. Yeah, uh, it felt like Zola Esports only had to look at one direction. Um, understandable timeout. Um, they all came from CT and nowhere else. It wasn't a wraparound or a pincer from Garage. It was a bit straightforward on the side of the Mongols. So maybe that's the reason why, like, okay, maybe that was a bit over eager of a retake. Perhaps that's the reason why the timeout was called in as well. Just trying to reel them in, you know, against Zoli. Because Mo the Mongols are doing so well. We need more Sky's Blue moments. We need more 119 moments. Um, and Emin Fear, honestly, his mid-round performance is real. If given the opportunity, he can really shut down Zol Esports. So in combination of all of this, I, I really think they can do it. Just that Zol is just so good at downloading um, the Mongols after a, few, uh, a win here and there. And that's such a contradictory thing to say as well, right? Yeah. Mongols 
is trying to utilize Sky is Blue again, yeah. but because you know Zolt Esports are good at downloading things, if they kept banking on Sky is Blue once more, it, it's not really going to pan out, is it? Because if you see the difference between Zolt's plays from right now, from that one round ago to like three rounds ago, it, it's been kind of just figuring out where Sky Blue isn't and going the other way. Oh, that's true. Yeah, They've been so... avoiding the issue <laughs> so exactly. far. Exactly. Pathman, Jesus. Run, run. Oh my god, he just sent it. This guy is blue, though. He's a bit too fast. Oh. <laughs> Almost <laughs> predicted correctly. Hell yeah. Spike All right, they haven't planted beat. Spike at all. And this is going very badly for Zol, honestly. This guy is blue is still pretty damn healthy. And they have they don't really have anything to pick it back up. The spike, I mean. So, yeah. I'm gonna try to check things through. Fast lane, as Sky is Blue picks up a weapon, loses his ultimate, and gets pincered down by Kakarot. So, at least the fight goes a little bit down to the favor Ooh. of Zol. Kakarot is single handedly getting the kill he needed to win this game. As 119, okay. Deja vu moments here. It's three versus one now. His opponent's a whole lot more uh, knowledgeable of him. And it's not going to pan out this time as Zoli Sports get the round advantage. Yeah, it seems that there's no 190 moment on that round anymore. Zoli Esports has learned their lesson and decided to just... What's the term, Asurai? Nip that right out of the bud? Is that the saying? Nip it right in the bud. Oh, the there bud. it is. Thank you, Asurai. I appreciate <laughs> <Sure>. it. <laughs> but yeah, um... Dolly Sports, they're trying B. Seems like it's a huge problem for the, not the cleanest, but they're able to at least hammer that round win home. Sky is blue now committing to the operator. Here's about uh, how effective this can be in his hands, but you can't see he is playing. There it is. Oh, that was such a sick kill. Let's get it started. Second one in motion, and Kakarot just. Immediately backs away from the angle, just so that. This guy's good because of just how fast he is. He's just going to keep uh, checking C and B. I like it from Zol that they're doing their due diligence and smoking that out. They're not counting out any possible repositions from Sky's Blue. Uh, but they're still going B! Yeah, this could be back. Oh. He was standing still. He was standing still. Yeah. Sometimes it's the easiest shots that you miss. Mm -hmm. That's how you know it's a good player. True. I'm not even kidding. That's really true. You you should see other like amazing operator players. In any case, three versus four numbers advantage in the favor of Mongols. Right. Lots there. of retake utility for them, especially with the stun still available for Sky is Blue and Cons. One nineteen here. Oh no! No way! No way! He gets caught. That's bad. Nah, it's not good. Smoke's gonna go down, and they double up to Jet, who just makes quick work. The Operator not getting anything in close range, and that's going to be Kakarot with the final kill. Man's been on a mission. That mission is to bring Zol to the finish line. Two-round advantage for uh, for Zol here. That was such a good double up underneath that smoke. This play right here, I think at first they were looking at each other like, wait, where's that camera? Is it inside our smoke? It's not. Let's wait for the camera to be activated and then peek. That was so good from Zola okay. Esports. They've acknowledged no sure. that 119 is always going to retake coming from C Link. So here we go. Maybe A is another answer that Zola likes to try. Batman. Off your feet. Ooh, go. There it is. The nice little smoke play. Unfortunately, oh, though, no. there is the ultimate coming out of... Uh, of Zol here that just flushes out the rest of them coming around the corner. That Sky is blue, brings down. in the judge. But again, Zol's just too good on these refrags. 119 still one last standing. He does have a Vandal in hand, but it's not going to be enough as Kevzy finds him tucking himself in heaven. Out of charge. And that's going to be that. Zol Esports very quick on these pushes. So clean. Zol Esports. Once they've gotten a, a, re, a, a, a plant onto A or C, that's when it's like mega clean. B is something on paper, of course, very tough, easy to rotate for the retakers. But I feel like they've been really mixing things up a bit with their B execute. I'm not going to be surprised if they want to do it off. again. They're slowly leaning here onto window. That's going to be three players, a tripwire. I think they just want to keep 
hammering this b-hole home sure why not right yep. Ooh, that tripwire actually gets value i gotta love that the recon guard did not break it so that is the life of patman already forfeited Big flight already voided and the question is <gasps> yikes what, what? <laughs> uh, oh boy that is okay it's, we got to take a step back here. Mongol uh -huh. is also trying to take a breather because right now they started with good catch on Patman and somehow Sky's Blue and Emmett Fear got traded for nothing as the smoke One goes down. Remaining. Zin gets a kill. It's It feels like Zolder just challenging Mongols at their own game and Mongols are losing it. Yeah, they're willing to take Spike the fight. Planted. Let's abandon A, C, okay, try B again. Maybe, maybe Deja Vu part two? I don't know. We'll see. Tries to sneak right by, by in. But again, Zoli Sports a lot more aware, a lot more sensitive to how well C9, uh, C19, C19, excuse me, can uh, can play those situations. It's it's so good. I, I mean, they were a bit more creative. Uh, they they made it completely different. You know, they decided to flush out garage basically by landing a lot of these. Uh, Colat shots outside of B, and then right they re-hit the same site. Even though Patman falls from battle very early, it doesn't necessarily equate to Zoli Esports losing the round right off the bat. Uh, Mongols though, I like this creativity. Instead of mid, uh, sorry, instead of B, we're gonna invest sewers alongside cons. Here we go! Okay, oh. Sky is blue, okay. Very early though. They heard that Skies Blue uses ultimate already, so they're just gonna tuck themselves in corners here and make him waste it. And I felt like Sky is Blue felt the urgency to just get a kill so he can get that refresh on his ultimate, but it actually ultimately just backfires. That's gotta be unfortunate for him. I know exactly where you are. Especially, especially yeah. it's gonna be the last round and next up. Hatman so far forward. Yeah. I mean, North have already used, right, just to get that quick bit of information as well. And they're just challenging these fights. They just don't really need to... Oh, they just don't really need to play it safe anymore. Just send it. They know that their opponent is just on the weaker weapon, so... What's the, what's the real problem? Especially when they're already cascading so well into the site and getting all these kills one by one, bit by bit. Yeah, Zoli Esports has found their rhythm. The Mongols had a uh, a great start on this map, but Zoli Esports were able to reel that back in in their favor. Okay, Sky is blue. Operator hand out them. when he stayed at B. Now he repositions to A long. But no one? Maybe the Zin takes the bite, perhaps? Spike down, but no one's mid. pushing. Yeah. I mean, it feels like at some point they just have to wait, right? Because yeah, yeah. that's about it. Ooh, that was early. You saw that? They were using the gravity well already at the entrance of B main. Oh, yeah, I think that's true. The noise done by Zol was enough to scare out the util from Mongols. And it just opens up so much more positioning as well. Ooh, great catch, though. Simultaneous as well. Sky is blue, gets a pick. As well as the other one as well. Left with a two versus uh, five here. Do like the ideas from Zol, but they still have to be aware that Mongols. <laughs> all right, let's bring it in. Not this time. Khan mm -hmm. wins the battle, and it's all into the hands of Zin. Fifty seconds though, so he's got some time to at least. My camera is. I don't know. Hurry about something. Wins the battle against 119, but they know exactly where he is in a one versus four. Yeah, this is uh, this is tough. Uh, Khan's was the one that was able to. Get first blood, even though, um, you know, uh, Nexi was the one that used early utility. Oh, he's since gonna fall up and down. Oh, wait a minute, yeah. I'm sure as this easily time. as you thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. Hunter's Fury does not claim his life, it's actually the operator from Sky is Blue all the way through heaven. Switching sides, so we end ourselves a four to eight. Great catch uh, there from Mongols just to fight Fendings uh, off against Zold Esports. Such a good angle from 119 there. You here on the offense, right? You see the mm -hmm. idea that they have. You got the shield from ISO. 
push it right in. And then while that was happening, Sky is losing set up for a nice little play here. Good little catch. Paranoia though. Ooh, what a snappy set of kills there from Sky is Blue. Good use of the burst fire from the classic. Wonderful check by the Mongols as well. Not lowering their guard. I mean, they were the ones that did it on the pistol round, to be fair. So they thought, Last mm, I think they're going to do this too. So beautiful shots from the Mongols here. I think this round is done and dusted. Maybe Kakarot just wants to get a few kills before anything else. Spike planted. They sure, right? <laughs> if you can get it, it'd be great. Yeah. I mean, the flag is already coming from Nexi, so you don't really he doesn't really expect the, the backstab to come through, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's about that. Five to eight though. Great catch from the Mongols. They literally just triple peaked. Got good kills and Sky is Blue showing off how quick his reaction time truly is. I, I really think um the win condition Sky is Blue is online. I think one thing that will tremendously help as well cons I, I remember this it was skies blue and cons at the top of the standings really high impactful um frags uh, when they went up against fancy united but honestly right now it's still working even if it's just skies blue at the moment he's the as we mentioned like, he's the spear tip mm -hmm. man is gonna be the one that get things started for Mongols. If not, it's going to be quite difficult for them to really get that round success, I feel. Zin, though, and the rest of Zol. I must wait a moment. Making some plays right now. Patman only showing himself in sewer here. But they're not really going to expect that. Makes a little a bit of impact there with, with the two kills, but they should be able to save nothing. Mm -hmm. as the, as the bulldog <laughs> gets thrown planted. into uh into the fence there so just economic damage right now for uh for zol yep it's just Standing a bunch ahead. of classics maybe a kevzy sheriff might find at least one or two on c long he's not going to be using any utility as he does not want to give away his position but this guy's blue has a share uh sorry a judge so it's going to be difficult to find a, a frag Shut down. Unless... Yeah. Unless Good that. catch, though. Nice off angle, too. Mm -hmm. Let's check if we can see... Get a little bit more. Which they kind of are. They're just positioning themselves in these awkward positions where I think Mongols are expecting them to play retake or, you know... But then Zoller just will play around and actually just make it expensive for you. How about that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Minus, minus three for the next round. Zoli Sports. Gonna be happy about that one. Um, for their ego, now it's all about the buys, but there's still... It's not Padman, actually, that is able to match up against Sky's Blue every single time. Uh, Padman decides to, uh, take it 1v1. Sky's Blue always has his number, at least here on Haven. So things are starting to be ramping up for the Mongols here. I like he's the only one that's not holding onto a weapon. True. Just a uh, sheriff. Well, never mind. Actually, he's he's pretty good with the sheriff, so I just take everything back. Oh boy. Okay, good challenge. Nice little refrag there from Cons. Should have his uh, shield refreshed as well. One to one though, as they did make a lot of noise. Cons' uh, wall or shield is about done. Goes in for the challenge. Blind to kind of delay things a little bit more, and because of that pick that they have, the second pick onto M and Fear. This kind of hurts the the way for Mongols to now push in because they don't really oh, have here. that recon dart to retake things or take things into the site. Now that they spotted out the bike as well, they do want to challenge that. But is the challenge actually good or should they just let it be picked up and just play the numbers game? We'll have to see. Looks like they're able to just hold on out. Zoli Sports, Kevin. Defeated. Uh. Ooh, just gets knocked. One to one though. Not done just yet. That's coming in from Nexi vision. as well. Smoke's coming through. Jet. Just around the corner. Oh, they don't know he's elevated. Seconds left. Smoke is actually allowing him to get one enemy remaining. Play on such a really tight angle. And Zin comes in as well. 119 just does not know where to look, and that's gonna be Zol with another round. I mean, it's such a it's such a crazy guessing game. Maybe if you're coming from sewers, of course you want to try and look up at top of the box. But it has been quite some time 
before you stayed uh, at sewer so you're not really gonna think and and see if that's there maybe the smoke might give it away that's why they were trying to clear every single angle before pushing forward crouching just to check that top of the box but jet really played that so well everybody played that so well from Zoli Esports. Yeah. And now it's the buy round again. Except for Nexi here area. with the sheriff at hand. At some point some at some point Mongols has to have like everybody Stop on a, you yeah. know, on rifles. True. Except for just the you know, not just having just four. I don't know if it's gonna be Let enough, go. but I have to see. Oh, I like this play. Oh. We're going in and circumventing all of the traps set up already. But to be fair, it's all on B. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's going to be picked up here. It's you Happen. and me. Spike planted. Oh, he dodges the ultimate. Khan's wanting uh, another go into things. Does get picked off there, though. It's actually okay. ideal right now for Mongols. That fast lane not really giving the space that Zol potentially wanted and through the smoke the double kill comes out for Mongols here great take onto garage great push as well and ultimately Zol just not able to get the the response or just not able to react in time yeah Zol esports now having a taste of their own medicine with the buddy system just just a lot of angles to look at once you enter the site and the Mongols really have every single thing covered uh just a lot of really flashiness coming from both um players fr uh, both neon players uh but at the same time the sky, uh, sky is blue is just really on top of this game and you get to see the pressure building a little bit for zol a lot of serious uh faces on the side of these players understandable they don't want to map number three they don't want to go to split they want to end it here and now in this 2-0 now i think this is the first time we're also seeing zol call for the timeout oh, they yeah, got true. themselves uh jcl already uh going with talks with the team here problem right now i think for zol is they have they're kind of forcing majority of their defense somewhere on the map and it's it feels like a roulette for mongols that if they find the right call sometimes it's uh, what is it like one out of three or one out of five approaches mm -hmm. i think in any of the sites if they make a mistake they just do not have the retake power to really react if they try to challenge as soon as right which mongols kind of thrive in so we'll see how that kind of goes go, go, go. if the timeout is beneficial or is it just going to be you know not enough it <laughs> <Chad> just gets <laughs> obliterated by the judge yep spotted by that drone no hesitation to peek through Oh, that is just horrible. Oh, Batman gets standing. caught out. Yeah, there's Sky is Blue already committing the oh, ultimate. Does not want anything to go awry. Just make it sure. They got themselves the Flawless. This builds bank. And Mongols, they're just one round behind Zol right now. Yeah, Sky, Sky is Blue is just practically online. Has been online for quite some time now. And nobody from Zol Esports is shutting him down. Patman um he does have this overdrive uh two points for kakarot orbs for until his rolling thunder maybe that's something that they can um angle with to secure this double digits but we'll have to see this judge is still in the hands of sky blue uh, sky is blue and it's really scary once he gets going Blinding. truly and you want to find it so we already see him on his ultimate and they just got past the round Ultimate being used here. Patman goes for the challenge. And now he's the one that's using his ultimate there. Tries to use the overdrive, but backfires as now. 119 gets the catch on him. Just reveals to everybody with the use of that neural theft. Now Cosmic Divide also being used right now by Nancy to plant the spike safely. And this is going to be a very difficult retake for Zol Esports. The hold on mid is brutal. And 119 wastes no time to go for the flank right now i think the timing is so off i don't think zol even knows about this nope. and the backstab <gasps> the smoke it just blocks him just ever so slightly and that might be it the reposition you're not gonna know about this he gets wow. the two kills huge and they do not respond in time they do get a couple of kills right in front of them but 
What's behind them, they do not know. And that elevates us, or that puts us into the 9 to 9. 119 is so good. I mean, you won't expect that timing, right? Because the Cosmic Divide is also really good at blocking any possible rotations, even though you're staying at Link, even though you're staying at A. You can't really hear a single thing. And 119 just basically used that window, that short window, just go speed at uh, towards A. And of course, the eSports, timing-wise, they really yes, won't expect it at all. Now they're back on the Eco. This is a little scary. Mongols is on fire right now. Oh, yeah. Here. It's proving to be very little challenge right now for them. This guy is blue already at the back of the side. But wait, Jet hiding inside the smoke gets the gets there first. Kakarot at the back. Hand cannons Ooh. in hand. Zin just cannot find that value. He just gets, again, slapped by multiple opponents already. Maybe only Patman and Kevzi to deal with this. Four to two. Two players on Mongols, though. Severely low, so some body damage with the Sheriff should be enough. Kevzi's making some noise right now. Tries to open up for Patman. Unfortunately, Patman gets caught. And he's actually already down low. Kevzi just backing away right now. As they try to push through. Need to use the spike if they can. Ooh. One good shot. Last player standing. It's actually working One slightly the half as well. And somehow Kevzi. No. Boggles a bit too eager they to show what they got in terms of the gun department, the firepower, but it backs. It just backfires. I am speechless. Yeah, it backfires a little bit. You're right. It is all about the uh, the, the initial damage that some of these players. He Kevzi's even shocked that that happened because at that point, it's one of those things where you double swing. You double swing at that point, but no, it was so difficult. The timing must have not been in their favor, and Kevzi just really takes advantage of that. Ah, uh, thank God. Zol Esports now back in the lead. I mean, to be fair as well, you don't expect... I think Zol did not expect to really lose that fight as well. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of granted that they're feeling a lot more confident in that situation. But still, right? That middle around the corner Whoa, might be a bit too over-eager, but... He's, a, he's up for the revenge. He is up for the challenge. He wants blood. And he wants it now. Finally gets shut down by Nexi here, though, but the damage is done. 3-2. to two. Numbers not favoring Mongols to... Too heated here. Spike should be picked up by the Mongols right now. Join the fight remaining. might not go their way, but somehow in that prolonged gunfight just goes back and forth and back and forth and Zol somehow it. manages to I win that one. Simple as that. Usually it takes one player from a team to try and break momentum. And that and that win from Kevzi was so important for Zol Esports to just take this map back into their flanks. The Mongols, though, of course, they've had plants. They've got really nice plants on to see. It's just that it wasn't as clean as what we've seen before. And Zol Esports yeah. are now be are patient. They're playing the retake. They're playing from all sides. They try to pick one before somebody falls. It's much better than a full five man just holding out within the site. Especially C. Very troublesome. You see the stress on the faces of the Mongols. Very understandable. Match point now almost for Zola Esports if they win this next one. I gotta say, it, it just. It honestly feels like. And. Again, this feels like Mongols just dropped the ball on some of these rounds. Yeah. Right? It, it, we cannot sugarcoat it. it. It Honestly, they should have won some of these rounds already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, because they wanted to challenge, and again, so over eager to finish off some of these rounds already, it somehow backfires. Because Zol did not, does not have any, uh, any right to win the round that the, the go, way Kevzi won that one. Yep, yep. Yeah. Anyways, it's not done just yet. Yeah. Still pretty neck and neck. They're trying to get in close. Sky is blue, kind of trapped in the corner here, though. The shock dart putting him into a very difficult situation, and Kevzi's shock actually hits and takes him down. 
the neural have to follow up for even more information. And now they know Mongols stuck at least at this point in uh, in a long. I like this as well from Patman. Being the one who guards the flanks yeah. or the possible lurk or the possible rotate. Because yeah. you can just keep moving from one place to another. Knowing that you're a Neon. Look at the paranoia. Understandable because they've given a lot of space and time for Patman to possibly lurk around. So they're cutting noise. I like this, but Zoli Sports read this play beautifully. They even check their own spawn right just to mm, make mm. sure that no one's anywhere there. Oh, the reposition. Oh, the wall actually just goes in. Jess around the corner here. It's in repositions. Exactly Tries to go for the fight, and he's using this wall for a bit of a dance right now, but it actually backfires on him. This cosmic divide is huge. Stops the opponents here. Zol from pushing right in. Patman wants a challenge, and 119, he tries to go for the reposition and actually blows up in his face. Ultimate being used. He can start on the corner. Shocks. The transfer. No way! Patman almost converts for the one versus three. He had his teammates fall all around him, and his overdrive went to overtime. But Mongols taking a breath, slowing it down, helps them win the round. Everybody's playing out of their minds here. It's you can feel it. Mongols want to take this to map number three, keep their tournament lives alive. And Zol Esports, this series is mentally and physically taxing. The yeah. fact that there's a, there's a lot on the line, of course, Zol Esports are hungry to just take this one down. That Standing almost ahead. was almost a con uh, converted victory. My is ready. But, but the Mongols have learned from their mistakes from that uh, sea long hold. Absolutely, right? And now, just a few more. Just a few more, and they get to push this into map number three. Rizzoldo, you did see Kevzi risk his life just to pick up that uh, orb for his Hunter's Fury to be up and running. 119 just does not want that heat anymore. Patman still pushing up. Wants to go for the kill. He is really chasing for it if he can, but 119's got some layers of defense. Try to push them back. And while that was happening, Mongols was busy taking the other players of Mongols. And busy taking this A side. Cons, though, who did he rip from the ground? Okay, it's going to be Patman. One versus one. Cons wins the battle. Contract complete. And this uh, is very huge because, again, it gives them a lot more breathing space. The push out one enemy remaining. is not going to be enough. Such clean uh, repositions here. Or. Excuse me, crossfires for Mongols. Now Jet, no real space to really get inside that smoke, so he just kind of hopes that he could bamboozle them, which does not work in a four versus one. A oh, great, a oh, great clean hold. Yeah, it's very difficult, especially yeah. if you were on just the sheriff kill contract. Seals the deal, takes down a uh, Patman. Even though he's doing so well in this game. It's the Mongols also doing phenomenally well. That's why they're even. That's why they're tied. That's why Asteroids could be, <laughs> what, a possible overtime even? Or maybe the yep. Mongols is just gonna... Enough of that. No overtimes. Let's just go to split right here, right now. And now it's a full buy round for both of these teams. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's a, it's a, it, There's two stacks in Garage C as well. It's the buddy system in play that we might see happen in this round. Spike. Ooh, the raid for Mongols to try to go for B right now feels like the correct thing to do, especially when we're seeing where the brunt of the defense for mm -hmm. Zol is, you know, specifically placed. And they just go for it. If, if they do, it, ha it stuff happened already. They know what could be up. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Mongols here. Going for a slightly different different approach, but it's still going to be B where they end up in. So, still going to be the same thing. And right now, this could be anticipated right now by Zol. So we'll have to see. Yep, it's Link. I got spikes. He scouted out. An easy fast lane. Looks like they're gonna put post plant on window. I'm out of here. Unless somebody decides to stick around. Oh, oh you don't want to do that. Good. Well, he has demon right behind him, so he might yep. not be too bad. Good flash, though. But still, there's way too many bodies right in front of them. 
backfires. Jess got to have to start picking things up here because Zin is a little bit too far from his teammate. No smokes in hand. Zin taps it. Goes immediately for the zap, for the gravity well. Three versus two. Coming around the corner. Jet, can he have the spike? It actually does, but the stun was just a little bit too much. And Mongols slides right in for the kill. Zol not really knowing what to do in that situation Next gets point. blown up. Especially at that uh, encounter on Garage. Yeah, that's where it definitely all went down. You think that, you know, that buddy system um, was going to be effective in that note. But the fact that somebody is actually really tucked right into the corner, right outside of doors, it can get really, really confusing. Tension is rising, as you can see from the cameras onto Zol Esports. And it's understandable. Zol needs to force this, uh, what do you call this? This overtime onto Haven. But they have not cracked the code just yet. Every single time they decide to pull an aggressive punch, it is the Mongols constantly having to really hammer the pain every single time. It's so problematic right now for Zol because I think Mongols also realize what their weakest site is and it's B. Because... Yeah. Right? Because, uh, again, if Zol commit to defending the B site, I think they're fine. But the problem is, I don't think they know the, the fine line of how to commit B site without losing control on both A and C, right? Mm -hmm. and Haven is a three sided map. We, we, we can see this, we know this. We played it thousands, thousands yep. of times already. So you have to kind of manage your resources. And unfortunately for Zol, it's not well managed. And fortunately for Mongols, because of that, they have now found a chink in the armor for Zol and are bullying Zol for it, which again could put us into a map number three. Yeah, yeah. Highly possible here for the side of the Mongols. They've been doing so well. Now it's a stack onto A, sneaking their way onto Long. And Kevzi is looking at Source. He has no idea just yet. Yeah. Maybe peaks on, on Long here. It could be pretty bad for him. Oh boy. Do not want to take that fight, even if it's a just in case. Shock Dart actually connecting onto M and Fear here. Oh. One more. Kevzi, does he have the lineup to at least get the kill? Could be huge if he does. Recon Dart. Standing ahead. Don't be thrown out that early. Make sure they can at least work with the in tandem with the fast lane. As Patman is setting things up. He wants to go for the fight right now. Can he actually push out? Any flashes for him would be great, but I don't think there's any. Now it's just going to be a fight on fight. Comes around the corner. Cons, great pickup. And it's still not done. No defuse starting just now. And it's all down into the hands of Jed. Fortunately, okay. it's just a bit too much for them to handle. Mongols finish it up. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got ourselves a series here. Map number three is already... I'd like to see some of those rounds really be played. Same here. I think this is the best composition, best lineup, best surprise from both of these teams to conclude such a very important match on who is going to be qualifying for stage three of Challengers South East Asia. Vice for split. I like this. I like this very much. Seal, uh, Seal Garden is so effective, especially on, uh, on B site. There's a lot to cover. Yeah. A as well. Even though it seems big, there's not a lot of you to hide, to be fair. So if you waterfall from heaven or ramps, I think it's a very effective way to play retake, especially if they're starting on defense. I wonder where the setup is for Zin, because he's got a lineup with this nade, right? Somewhere mm -hmm. with the grab net. So where is this heading? Oh no, he's just going to be walking up slowly into the site. Sure. The wall's going to work up. Batman gets uh, isolated from the rest of his team, and he's just going <laughs> to... Oh, I like this. He's immediately pushing up into the spawn. And you could already see 119 not really ex expecting it up until then. There you go. There he goes. Okay, so he's going to throw the nade. Maybe reposition or just start pushing in. He's got to have to choose one. And he what? chose the first, but actually lost 119. Go, go, go. has been on it this game. That's on fire. His aim has been so precise. Sky's Blue also 
Find muting heavily on the impact pad. One enemy remaining. Oh! That's just absolutely nasty. Just sliding inside the smoke. What a flick as well. Yeah. And the isolation. Flawless. I think. I don't know. We did Zol. That. Are Lola, they losing I know you'd be proud. steam already in terms of uh, in terms of firepower? Yeah, that was the uh, initial problem uh, in Haven. The the one v ones. The how do you deal with Sky's Blue and One Nineteen? If you go up close and personal, just the two of you guys. But it always seems to be it's the individual players from the Mongols have that has been winning a lot of these duels. Zol Esports now back on the drawing board. I mean, it's really difficult against the against what's happening from Haven as a, the recent defeat that they had to experience. Sure, these uh, these moments, man, it's not looking too hot here for Zol. Mm -hmm. We'll see how this goes. If they try to push again to where Vice is, Ooh. could be bad for them. Pick a little pick from Sky is blue. This gets spotted out by Zin, so that's gonna be a start for the for the team. Picks up the weapon itself. It's going to be an outlaw in the hands of Patman. Spike planted. Pop a couple of shots, and this is going to have to be Mongols uh, trying to regroup and start moving around. Nice little flash as well. Well around the corner there. Khan's coming in close. Uses his boom bot. Goes right in. Throws the nade. 119. Absolutely bonkers. The 180 from Khan's for that second kill. And it feels like nothing is just holding... Mongols back. Good shots from Jed, though, but that's not going to be enough. And Mongols, two points at the board already. Very quick. It's so scary. The, the execute from cons to jump from ramps, immediately looking towards the other direction to kill Kevzi is so scary. It feels like a preview of what's to happen, of setting up these fast crossfires from screens from ramps it's honestly though looking at that even though it was an expensive round from the mongols i feel like solo esports that was a preview of what's to come um bet uh, between uh, comms uh, cons and skies blue you know what i agree even though i don't want to call it too early yeah, it, it true. does feel it does feel like that at least in this first part of the round mm. right and i'll just say this double sentinel pickup for zol not getting as much value, I think, as they're kind of hoping for. And then banking yeah. on Kakarot to be the only uh, initiator here. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Sky is... Don't get me wrong. Sky is very strong on split, but we'll have Let's to see how it. this really goes. Pushing them back already. Gun round for Zol as they're working their way onto mail. And... Next, he's just holding an angle here. Stars... These are the remaining ones is just there outside of B main. So the only thing he's really able to do here on B heaven is to just hold an angle with the uh, with the sheriff. <gasps> not gonna be enough though, but it's Kevzi that gets spotted by Sky is blue all the way through A main, and that's not good for Zol. Death alert is gone. But the controller is gone on the side of Mongols. Thirty seconds. Okay, I'm here. Back of the site. Couldn't convert the first kill. Has to back away. Wait for his teammates if he can. Zol's timing though. They're missing the beats on these. Oh, what a shot. Through the smoke as well from Khan's here. The headshot is beautiful. Numbers not favoring Zol anymore. They plant the spike. And Mongols, they could actually just set this. They still have the numbers right in front of them. They do. One versus one right now. And Jack had to hit that shot. He was down to 10. He could have almost dropped the ball of that one, but he doesn't. And that puts Zol a point on the board. Survives with 10 HP. Another expensive round for the other team with the bigger buy. And it all started with a kill on the lurk on the far end of A main, but then it was just trades all over the place. They must feel really good about that one. Zol Esports badly oh, yeah. needed uh, a confidence boost on their end after what happened in Haven and as well as the pistol loss. You can see the pat on the back there for yeah. Chavs. Congratulations, Jack. Good job, man. Mm -hmm. We needed that round. We sorely needed that round as we saw here for Zol. God, how difficult it's going to be with a double sentinel to play attacker on split. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be brutal. 
Mongols, they have up. everything working in their favor right now. Zin. Over there. Did he just throw his wall? No, it's just a sound trap. Okay. <laughs> Retakes it. So he's slowly working his way here on mail. Using back. his deadlock utility. No ultimates available for Zol here, nor do we have anything for Mongols. But look at this positioning and timing for Mongols. The pinch coming in from the back could actually work out in their favor. Batman does react in time somewhat, but then you look at this, and then they have mid control in just a blink of an eye. Jed does have the ultimate, so he can pick up the spike, but they're trying to at least double up so that when he from the shadows it stops i don't know what's gonna happen yeah maybe right now, it gets blocked that's why jen now making his way onto a so they immediately get the plant down um there is a razor vine left onto a does he gets it still nonetheless despite the stack there's a shear oh oh he's planting on a okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now they start rotating the other way Yep, yep. Jet has no utility here except for a dark uh, a dark cover that'll come out in like a couple of seconds. He has to Consume buy time it. for Kemsey to rotate because he needs that extra number with him. One XE. Oh. Does He's he around know? the corner as well. He's not gonna know about this though. Wins the duel what? though. That was so That's important up. for him. <laughs> the charge That's up for cons. Standing. Gotta love to see it. The push out though in Mongols. <laughs> Do you flounder on that? Well, that was close. It that was. was absolutely close. The charges. It could have gone either way. Imagine if Jed didn't have from the shadows, then that spike would have been so hard to retrieve on heaven. But either way, oh, yeah. beautiful plays from Kevzi and Jet just tag teaming the hold. On to A. So now Mongols. That's it's their turn to be on this weaker buy with a bunch of sheriffs. But Steel Guard is available, so they can make things even despite Zol Esports being on that big buy. Where is this grab net going, though? Uh, I think they are a little bit aware that if they try to push onto A main, Vice has some uh, nice little setup plays right then and there. Kakarot catches out cons here. Bit too over eager for that mid push. All esports, I think they're starting to get back into the groove of things. Mongols, the pacing that we saw from them, I know it changed exactly ever way. so slightly. Wow, they actually call Kevzi to use the ultimate immediately on mid just for that information. Now that they see the vice is on B, is that the call to go straight for A? Yeah, it is. There's the grab net already, the charge up, the follow up from Patman as well. Does not spot anybody. As the wall also used Spike to just planted. cut up the positioning here on the back of the uh, back of the A site. Oh, oh my gosh! Inside the smoke, Patman might get another kill here. Remaining. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Yep. Next is the only one uh, trap outside of mid right now. Can't really push anywhere, hoping that he catches a lurk. But everybody else from Zol now holding on to that A site. So clean for the side of Zol. Oh, flawless. Two bullets. Oh. There he goes. <laughs> Falls out. Out of charges. Okay. Weaker buy. Maybe they. There's no opportunity to use the uh, steel garden, as they are really overrun by Zol Esports, taking control of A immediately after that opening pick on mid. Now this is interesting. Cons now has the operator. And guarding a heavily, perhaps this could be difficult for Zol. I remember in Haven, one's cons, or actually Sky's Blue picked up the operator. Zol had a very hard time infiltrating a site. Oh, Padman, he's got the double uh, satchel play here. Immediately Ooh. charges up into Heaven. He has an ultimate here, though, so I'm curious if he's going to use it in tandem with his bot. Actually circumvents where his opponent was pushing. Sky is blue. Does not now know where he might be, but gets caught by Kevzi while that was happening altogether. So Patman can actually just hold his angle right now, and it could be a good lynch play because no I've one is marking. I mean, if you're around the corner right now, as a secret gets used, that's gonna push Kant's back, and again, get that information on where this operator is still standing. Making a lot of noise. They know that where exactly where One he is. 
as yeah, they just go into the trap. Comes around the corner. There it is. Rewarded. Expensive round for Mongols as well. And Seoul Esports, two rounds advantage against the Mongols. And they even get the operator in their favor. They picked it up. They're going to throw it onto Zind. And a very, Ooh. very, uh, it, it's a timeout. As again, as, as you said, it's a very expensive round. Uh, it's Padman really playing say, uh, sneakily and going into vents instead of going to the opposite direction and finding the one peeping out of heaven. I really like that play. You, you're investing your position for the near future. And honestly, I really like that from Zol. Yeah, I like it as well. It also forces Mongols to, you know, react to multiple angles here. And I think now Artie is immediately calling things out as it is. And again, reacting to what the plays are uh, from Zol, right? I think I, I you kind of see the tempo right now where Zol is playing at that once there's a a flip of the script from Zol already starts to call it out uh, uh, immediately so that, you know, Mongols can prepare and adjust. And again, nipping it in the bud very early is super important for Mongols so that we don't see some of those games that just kind of spiral and then, then having to play, you know, from behind for a couple of rounds and see yeah. if you can make it work because that's way too dangerous if you're uh, in a situation like this. Yeah, they want it more like what they did at Haven instead of what happened in Sunset. Um, and now take a look at the setups. Pretty spread out. But Zoli Sports is biding their time. They're probably thinking that Mongols might push an angle and get a very uh, cheeky play. Maybe that sky is blue versus Zin. Oh, sorry, Kevzi. In A main. Okay, he's just waiting around a little bit here. Sky is blue though, still holding the angle. Kevzi starting to back away actually. Just waiting for him to be safe enough so that he can start running through where the rest of his team might be. Jet. Okay, I'm curious about how this is gonna go, because the razor vine's gonna be underneath them. They're gonna take some passive damage. If they don't block the the line of sight for 119 here. Oh maybe they just fight him, you know? No, they he's backs away. Thorns activated. They also are very yeah. careful about that uh, that ultimate of this. Let's see this goes. Catches him though, so no more uh, fear of the Steel Garden. So that's probably what, you know, Zol was kind of hoping for. Just to see where Vice was. If he challenges, they have to commit the ultimate and not really push so they don't get caught by the uh, annoying uh, ult. This is really tough. 10 seconds on the clock. 10 the seconds left. Uh, plant's gonna go down. One's gonna be coming from Ali, but the barrier is there. Ah. Pretty much stuck in here. As Zin carries. Yeah. Oh my god, that's it! Yeah, great shot. Okay. Mid air there. As Sky is blue is just trying to Grenade. run into the sights. Does not work out in his favor. And uh, Zol Esports, again, rocking up the round wins here. Building up that lead if they can. Because again, you never know when Mongols try to or will get that counter against them. That is indeed a good question. This feels very similar to what happened in Haven, but honestly, Zol Esports feels like this is a different Zol from the previous map. They feel more confident to go in. They're more precise with their aim. They don't feel like they're scared now to take on 119 or Skies Blue, maybe even cons um, in a lot of these angles. So we'll see. Sure, right? Yeah. They're getting a lot more confident with that one. Could help them out. My territory! My All right. Annihilation. Let's go straight up for it. Annihilation does not spot anybody here. No one's home. And Patman's already pushed up through spawn right now. 119. Okay, he's aware that this is a possibility. Spike he is just such a great shot. Good hit. This is huge. Right. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, <laughs> the ob that actually catches him. That's great. Right around the corner. Hans gets the pick onto Zin. Great little start. Around the corner, Jet also gets picked off. One enemy remaining. You have to win this fight. 
So one versus two. Sky is blue. Just zapping, dashing. Coming around the corner. Kev Z is so low that one zap, even if he's jumping up and down, is enough. Mongols. That threat of the Steel Guardian is so much that Zol is positioned I dare you. very, I think, just different. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. They're more aggressive in identifying where the Steel Garden was because the plant was so close. They had no choice but to play the play uh, play on site itself. They didn't plant for B main at all, so they were afraid of the cosmic divide threat, which was there. They were scrambling around. Did they tap the spike? Did they not tap the spike? It's just that innate paranoia that a cosmic divide provides in a lot of these holds. Quick little push. Oh, Nexi, great play. Gravnet does connect onto M and Fear here. Uh, no, exactly. He's gonna get knocked down. Great contact as Nexi's trying to at least play around the Razor Vine for the moment. Another Neural Theft that comes out into play here as it does expose a position for Mongols. They do break it. Is that two players with judges? Yes, they are. <laughs> okay, so close quarter combat is out of the question here for Zol. Play the other direction or else. But the other direction is where the sniper is waiting. They do have Jess still alive, so a nice little use on a smoke here to blot out that vision is going to be very important. Uh, but no Patman means... What?! No. Sid, how did you do that?! Muscle memory, uh -huh. and just being a godly player, that's how yep. you do it. Absolutely. Damn. Sid. Spike planted. Clean. Holy. <laughs> Alright. It's such a good setup as well for Mongols too, you know? Okay, oh, camera down. spots out one here for Sky is blue. Triggers the trap. No cipher in play here. Jay goes for the challenge. And now they they might not know that Gazzy actually doubled himself up around the corner here. Yeah. Gets the kill as well as Zin around there. And that's gonna be Zol with another round on the board. It's always that double up buddy system that is Zol Esports really hammering down so well in this tournament. And once they're given the opportunity to do so they won't hesitate to pull it off. And uh, the Mongols always feel like they have to check their corner twice. They've killed the one, maybe one is still in there. And Zul Esports, hey, they're yeah. s slowly trying to increase the gap. They're not phased at all by Mongols winning that other round taken out. where Sky's Cage Blue trigger. went rampant. Cage trigger. So it's a good sign. <laughs> no, that's not a good sign. <laughs> MZ. <laughs> What was that? He was just trying to jiggle for a position and then yeah. he just realized, oh yeah, we're playing against Mongols. These guys like to go for these really just cheeky <laughs> angles from time to time and it just blows up in his face. Mm -hmm. Patman here pushes through the smoke and that could be fatal for him. About to drop down, actually spots out Nexi right in front of him. Goes for the challenge, hits the shot, but there is a quick and very near 119 willing to go for the fight. They drop in, they fight. They want to go for this. It actually Spike gets down. it. That is nutty. Jeff forced again to use his ultimate just to pick up the weapon right now. And it's a two versus three. Rawls being used to at least delay them. Zin has to hold the other angle here. But this is where it gets incredibly tricky. There is still some setups that is available for Mongols on this uh, retake of the spike. Smoke for Jet to play around it. It's being thrown out already. Zin converts the one kill, but it takes a long time. So Jet has to play through. Goes around. Zin is making it so that he plays for as long as he possibly can so that it delays so that Jet can play alongside him. Reposition. Gets caught. Does not wow. know where Jet's repositioned with that shrouded step. And it allows Zol to get the round in. Jet is so smart. And also Zin, the way that he's able to spray down rafters and just not get punished at all after that it's just so good he is able to survive with just a sliver of his health still have value to wrap around pillar and therefore you know uh cons is forced to look in different directions enemy, paranoia enemy. play from jet to confuse into the shrouded step and that's why cons is always looking in the same direction so zoli sports their individual players are all coming together going out. true 
it's not as I think clean as what we kind of expect from Zoro, yeah. right? Which is this team has some pretty sick set plays, but sometimes you just gotta get down and dirty in the in, in the mud. Yeah. Just try to you know outmaneuver, outplay your opponent, and you're absolutely right. Individualistic uh, plays right now are I think what's keeping Zol afloat. Aside from you know just the initial setups, yeah, it's pretty good. But these follow throughs are definitely what's keeping them uh, keeping them at bay. They get a kill onto Emin Fear. This would be very important. It would open up. And only screens might be the problem. Oh! Dropped! Ooh, Patman somehow manages to sneak his way through spawn, get the kill of the guy playing there. Now it's size blue. Just alone by himself. Oh, the flash though. Not hitting anything? That oh, could yeah. be false as a security here. They don't know Sky's boots the back of the site and he converts two kills already. Three for the get go. Kevzy. Ooh boy. Ooh. This is bad. This is bad. Yeah, yeah. That flash missing definitely gave wrong information for uh for Zol here. Kevzy's gotta go big. Two versus one right now. What? Playing around the corner. They're looking one enemy remains. weird Three spot. Five. Slaps one more down. Hiding. My ultimate is ready. Now he's getting the information. Now he knows. Does it get sucked by the gravity well? Place around and Kevzy just... I've always the ice like cold this. killer. <laughs> he even just... In the half. <laughs> he's like, he's like yeah. give me some, man. <laughs> give me some love. Jay was just raising his hand for a solid five seconds. I got a feel for that, but he got this clap in the end. <laughs> and this round absolutely slapped for him. Yeah, 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 they're feeling it. They're feeling the Asurai Zoli Sports. We got moments from Jet from earlier, and then now from Kevzy, a 4K, having to wrap around elbow constantly and using the ult and hiding himself until information was given. These players are playing out of their minds right now. Oh, I, I, I gotta take. I gotta take a breath. Yeah, yeah, we all gotta. <laughs> that was clean, though. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not those highlights that just go, you know, kind of bonkers or explode. Yeah, yeah. But it's one of those that when you just see it happen bit by bit, and it all comes together. You're like, damn, that was <laughs> sick. All right, back to reality. Eight yep. to three. Mongols looking to at least get one more round in before we end into uh, this first half. Patman has got the special del delivery. Not Kiki special delivery, but he's got the Ray special delivery. Here we go. Got the showstopper in hand. Unleashes. Not going to get the kill. Right, of, okay, right in front of them. Sky's Blue does get the refrag immediately as the Annihilation. Oh, boy. He just slides out of range. I think it was just barely caught, barely snagged. Could have been a fish on a hook. Yeah. A three to eight though, as the spike is planted. Okay, 119. No. Wait, they're going in fast right now. Yeah, right above him as well. And this ultimate really needs to get controlled. It's way too heated. Now it's Jed Kevzy. Nice use on the uh, razor vine there. Stops anybody from actually pushing through. Kevzy just tries minute. to light it up. I hate he alongside Jed just works the angle so well. And my god, they're <laughs> celebrating. It looks like Jed's about sides. to punch him. But <laughs> no, they're just like, you know, lovingly tapping it back <laughs> here on split when Zol needed the most. But can't really sit in their laurels, can they? As Mongols, you know how well this team can play from a deficit. They can definitely bring in the pain. Sending it already here. Kevzy's alone by himself. Took some very nasty damage against Sky is Blue, but he can reconnect with his team. Maybe he can get some uh, good pickups. Sky is Blue's down to like five. And 119 is already down. Well, dead. It's a four versus five as the round whoa, whoa, whoa. continues. It's so. They're just rotating so fast. And I feel like Kevzy might receive some. Okay, no heals from the Sky. But they're gonna get the plant down either way. It's all about that retake. Spike now planted. Them. Numbers at least slightly favoring, but of course you don't really know. The body system isn't worked for Mongols here as they are playing on that uh, two-two split. 
The camera, though, from Kevzy does spot it out, so they know that the A main is compromised. Good wall or good smoke here from Jet, so that it isolates the two of them. They're gonna have to push through this, and they're coming into this one blind. Cons as well, they know exactly where he is, so that Defuse pushes it through. He has no choice but to just fight it, and the smoke dissipates, and he drops. What? That was a solid retake from Zol Esports. And you're right, I feel like that camera from Kevzy and also him not dying and remaining alive is what really truly helped give information on how Zoli Sports was going to go about that retake. They really smoked that one out. They really waited. They just baited a lot of these aggressive movements from the Mongols because they have no idea what's going on. The entire side is clear. So here Listening. we go. Zoli Sports potential to do an 11 to 3. But I can't count out the Mongols just yet. They're really mean with these sheriff shots most of the time. Oh yeah, they got themselves some pretty nasty highlights that we saw from uh, last map already. Oh wait, no, it was a mistake. There. Oh god, <laughs> he made a, a huge yeah. mistake, but somehow Kevzy helps it out with the mid uh, mid pinch. Kakarot now back it away. Numbers equalized, but the problem is they lost control on heaven here. I wonder if they can at least pick up some of these weapons so that they can upgrade, uh, well, firepower, which they do somewhat in the hands of Sky is Blue. And the rotate seems to go the way of that A site. You do see that Kakarot's already used the Trailblazer just to uh, scan what was happening on mid and male. Now that he knows that there's nothing there Planted. anymore they're gonna have to start working their way here through spawn which is kind of difficult because of how fast sky is blue is you just don't know where he can position himself around the corner around this corner but they're getting close and they could actually get him one to one though not yet done Hatman. okay it, he's just challenging he doesn't even care about the razor fight he's just gonna go full send it one versus one here though no and mn fear what a shot against kakarot that's the greatest, one of the greatest rounds we've seen in the series so far. Just the tenacity of Mongols, and we do see it once again. And it's just one of those things where Mongols, if they see an opportunity, like a little bit of these issues or a little bit of uh, the holes in the strategy or an execution, they'll definitely take advantage of that. That barrier mesh... In mid, really hurt Zol Esports. You'd think they wouldn't push through. You'd hear them, you know, destroy that down. Nope. Swoop right in. And Gravnet wasn't even there. This saves in. Now, uh, tables have been turned. As Zol, weaker on the weapons now. Just on the pistols. Here. Having to play the slower game here. They... Have to be aware as well that Nexi has a bunch of his stars spread out in some strategic locations. You do see this bike actually down. dropped on spawn here, so there's no real commitment yet Bring to where down. Mongols do want to play. What? But we'll just have to see how that kind of goes. Great shot at the Batman here, though. He actually scans and finds. Well, Vice also picks up the weapon, so he upgrades. And his burden's a bit of precious time for Mongols, but that might mean that they actually go for the push on to be main. Yeah, so much value. You get an orb, you get a kill, another orb. You know, you're one off into Showstopper and taking it to the next round, or maybe even this round to secure this uh, point for them. I think he's getting spotted. Left. Yeah, Jet, not long for this world, gets immediately picked off. Whoa. Sky is blue. Yep, just having to make it. I just have to make do as he's a teammate. Actually gets Last almost caught out. Standing. Patman around the corner here. Oh my god. And then in fear, not wasting any time. Catches him on the rotation. That's just gonna be another round for Mongols. Rotation is for amateurs. They're Let's really go. scary once they get into the site. And once they get that hole. I mean, to be fair, as only sports that was an eco for them. Now they're they are on these powerful buys. Showstopper on the side of Patman. I think he has uh, he's definitely online. Kevzy uh, as well. And Sky's Blue is really scary once the overdrive has been activated. And I feel like this might be the round where he can go crazy again. Yeah, when you play too close to someone 
that plays the Neon, you know you're in trouble when, uh, again, all of these options are available for you. Mm -hmm. Padmus is going to go for a little bit of a peek. I think he spotted them on the minimap as well. Immediately backs away. There. Oh. Okay, so he's waiting to for someone to actually push aggressive Bring into ramps. Down. Has the nade set up. And if they overcommit, a showstopper isn't far behind. So I do like the idea right now for Zol. Especially when uh, Zind here is fending off any attackers, at least on that be uh, that mail. But his wall is about to break in a couple of seconds as well, so he's got to be careful. Good flash as well, able to identify that they were still there. There was presence there. But meanwhile, Emin Fear can choose to go to vents through this path, and might be a flood. Actually, no. Just as you said, it's going to be expiring soon. And that's the reason why Zin is in this offense. Oh, could not get the uh, pick right there. This could be bad for them as Jet was just still setting up a smoke. A little bit too late on the reaction time. 30 seconds and this left. just blows up in their face. Mongols, great timing on the Spike pushes. Planted. Sky is Blue is really Planted. honing in on his uh, role as the Neon. And as two players of Zol drop down, Black Mongols place. rise up once Planted. again. Truly a moment right now for... Uh, for Mongols, five rounds deficit feels like they could make it in time and uh, push Zol back to the back burner once again. Yeah, that might be a, a similar story from what happened in Haven, where Zol Esports, so close to taking a 2 0 victory, had a big lead, but then Mongols decided, nope, we're going to win Pistol, we're going to keep winning, we're going to take this back. But we'll find out. It's a save from Zoli Sports. And I feel like mid might be a weak point. And I feel like Mongols have identified this. Shoot. They Easy go through enough. mid to tower and then waterfall from yeah. there. Maybe the barrier mesh is not enough. Maybe the grab net's not enough. Uh, but Zoli Sports really need to remedy that before anything else. It's the same, it's the same issue that you'd have when you play a sage as your other sentinel right it's you think that they're able to hold an angle well and sort of does i guess but it's the problem with all wall abilities is that if it's used too early you it, it's not as impactful it's not as impactful if you use it too early because yep. it, it breaks too early as well right mm -hmm. and the big difference between I'd say the Sage and the Deadlock is that at least Sage is a sure slow in a good radius. Whereas yeah. you have to trigger the sound sensors and they might trigger only on one, but then the other guy comes in, not affected by the daze or the slow or whatever that, uh, whatever debuff it gives. And then you just get knocked out because, you know, they're just better and you, they can position better. They can react faster. So... Right now, I think there has to be some form of support for Zen. He can't be the only one holding an angle here. But I don't know. Maybe they have to just mix up where to position him. Or Zol have just to uh, uh, reset whatever they were trying to do. I don't know. It just, it just feels like there's uh, a bit of a puzzle that needs to be answered here. Maybe you're right. Look at them. They decided to double up on mid. Maybe that might be the solution. But they're actually... Pushing. Four of them. Yeah. I like this. Uh -huh. Take a page out of the book of uh, Mongols, right? Get a catch if they can. Separate push, though. Two on B main. Coming out market here. And one holding the angle right now. Uh-oh. 119. Oh, oh, no. He does get the kill, though. Tries to back away. Zin does get the trade. But that's the call already for Mongols. Push up. We got this. We found him. Spray control from Sky is Blue. Takes a little bit of time. But Kakarot being stunned does not help Spike his case. Planted. And this might be the round already gone. Yeah, they just have to play for the save. They're way too far. Way too out of position. And it's just not looking too good for, uh, for, uh, for Zol here. The Mongols' read has always been stellar. You've got 119 playing far back, just in case Zoli Sports decides to do a uh, push on to mid. And then this gave the immediate signal from the rest of the Mongols to just, okay, everything's invested pretty much in the opposite side of the map. Let's just go in there. Simple math. And 
the biggest equation here is 119 playing far back similarly to what they did in Haven, and then Sky's Blue just basically executing like crazy. Um, this could be a problem. Zoli Sports not able to shut them down, but at least they're able to save these weapons. I'm looking forward to seeing that showstopper. It hasn't been utilized as there was no opportunity to use it. Annihilation as well, yes. so important to possibly... Maybe not Sky is Blue, because Sky is Blue can just basically dodge that out. So we'll have to see how that works out. Yeah, and I mean... When are you gonna get the opportunity to actually use this, right? When yeah. you're just getting pinched uh, in such awkward places by the Mongols. So, that being said here, Zoli Esports, they're in a kind of pickle. Again, another puzzle that they have to figure out here. Pickle will slide in from the... Uh, both of the duelists there. And the challenge right now for the Mongols actually backfires as Zol Esports now find where the pinch play is. Again, this is something that, that I saw in Haven, yep. right? They Sometimes you just have to play that no, that chance game that they play where you play and it works for Zol. Yeah, you, 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 you pray that your stack actually is in the right spot at the same time as the Mongols. I think that's practically what happened. That's why it was just over to begin with. They're able to use, utilize that showstopper so effective. And it's the buddy system that was able to be proven um, really strong for Zoli Esports. Now, you get to see the expressions of the Mongols here. Asurai, you know, hands on their heads, leaning, thinking. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. I mean, again, they had, they have a very good amount of, how do you mention this, uh, comeback, right, against Zol right now. They've got what? That was uh, four, five rounds straight in a row. That being said, though, it still was 10 to 7. Zol winning that 11 to 7, there is still that long valley that they have to cross before they get 11 to 11 with Zol. And in that time, if they can make it, great. But there is still some opportunities for Zol to make plays like this happen. And if it does, Mongols could still well be in trouble. And again, Zol, they're a team that can always, that always has the capacity to figure things out as well. It might not be the quickest, Grace, might not be the fear. fastest, but it, could ha it, it might happen as well. So we'll have to see. Wow, Nightfall immediately used, flushing out the rest of Zoli Esports out of there. There's gonna be a five man retake. This might be a bit of a difficult that. retake as there is Steel Watching Garden thorns. on 116. This guy is blue, is just lurking on mid right now. Yeah. It's holding the angle here. He actually sees where Sky is Blue is. Puts immediately the wall right in his face. Not so good with that one. Tries to break the wall if he can. And I wonder if Zit's gonna help push with the rest of the team here. Patman now going in for the pinch. There's the use on the Steel Garden as pistols are used everywhere. This is horrible to be in this position. But well used, well timed. 119. An absolute menace. My god, that still guarded is such a such a dampen on things and great round for Mongols as they pick up another one. Yeah, it's a wet blanket to the retake for sure. It was already falling apart um after you know Patman has fallen in battle. But it was a trade immediately. Zoli Sports, they've been in this position before. This was the exact same setup on what happened in Haven. So Zol needs to really get it together if they want to reach that match point and apply that pressure back to the Mongols. And that's how you start it. Patman with a first blood on Sky is Blue, one of the really problematic players for Zol Esports. That stops a bunch of the pressure points that Mongols can play into this. Now Mongols forced to kind of play out in the open here. Tripwire is the only thing separating two uh, players that are stuck. Now they're starting going for the push. Jeb making sure that they have control here on Garage. Oh, interesting. So the hunter can spot anybody. The quick little charge. 
They make a bit of a mistake there, and there's some urgency for Mongols to start really Last holding in and uh, planning to spike down, but Khans is just trapped, rock in a hard place, and can't really do anything, and now Mongols knocking on Match Heaven's point. door as they're about to get the W in this map and in this series. Zoli Sports, I mean, we've seen them celebrating a lot of these rounds after their loss on Haven. It feels like they can feel it. But look at the Mongols. They're deciding, do we get the Operator? Or do we get the Standard Vandal? The Mongols are just trying to think. This is crucial. Sky is blue. What are you going to settle with? On attacking side, though? Up. Yeah, Vandal I mean, that's it is. That's crazy if yeah. they go for an Operator. I like the Moxie, though, but with how close contact this map is, I feel like that's a very brave option. Mm, yeah. Okay. They have Showstopper. They've got Cosmic Divide. If they get the plant down, it's almost unguaranteed 9 to 12. Um, all of the um, utilities invested onto A with a double sentinel setup. So they don't have to yeah. worry about that. They got to worry about Papin, though. His shots have been so uh, on fire, uh, along, especially yeah. if you have the initiator alongside with him. I think the okay. setup on A actually has some weaknesses, potentially on A Heaven. Yeah. Uh, if they start dropping from window, those uh, sound sensors might not be as effective as you kind of hope it to be. This guy's blue does fight Patman though. Very oh, Kakarot! He, he gets it. the double kill through the smoke. That's huge. Now he can take a step back. Three versus two. Has the seekers right now. Utilizes it. Tries to scan where the two players are. They back away. No plan to be had. Dog does not get the uh, stun there. They back away for the moment. The challenge, one versus one, as both Kakarot and Nexi in the most crucialest of fights. Kakarot's done it already. He's gotten two kills right now. Nexi's got 15 seconds. He doesn't... He, I don't think he has time to actually wait for his smoke to come back up. So he just has to run into the site, plant the spike, and hope to dear God that he can maybe uh, get it up there. Wait, no! He, wait. he doesn't have time! No! He has yet. Absolutely Ooh. not Defender this way, wins. Mongols! He couldn't wait for the smoke! He had to go to the site! What? 